So your boyfriend calls you to Netflix and chill, and you look like this. What do you do? <sighs> okay, guys. So you have 30 minutes to just go crazy and do something really like. What we're gonna try to do is just do something like if you're trying without trying. That's why I have my hair up in a bun just because, you know, it's Netflix and chill. You're gonna be in a bed. You're not gonna go out. And in all honesty, I can't do my hair. So my boyfriend doesn't like when I have makeup on. He hates it. But do you see this face? Do you see, do you see this right now? Like there's things going on here. So I like to be a little bit glam. And in case you guys decide to just go out, you're ready, okay? And this video will show you a nice, quick, easy way to just splash on a little makeup. Okay guys, so I zoomed you in just a little. I look a little crazy just because I prepped, I did my eyebrows, and I set my eyelids off camera. So now let's move on to my eyelids. My lids, my lids. I like to do my lids first just because that's something I do first. I don't know, I just do it. I, what I will be using today is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, of course. I will be going in with this shade right here. I'll put it, I'll put it. I'm somewhere. gonna use this as my transition shade and I'm just moving this all over my lid. Next, I'll be taking this angled shader brush. And I kind of want a little bit of glimmer. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'll pass that right in my outer corner of the eye and maybe just in my crease a little. Sometimes I go just a little bit above my crease just because I have hooded eyes. Now what I will do is take a clean blending brush and I'll just blend this out. Now with this precise shader brush, I'm gonna go in to one of the lighter shades right here and pop that into the inner corners of my eye. With the same brush and the same shade, I'm gonna go just a little bit under my brow. On top of my brow bone. I'm gonna blend that out a little bit. For now, we're just gonna leave the lids alone. Let's get these dark circles taken care of. First, I like to go in with my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Fair. Blend. Once I have the first concealer down, I'm gonna go ahead with my Foundation, which is the number seven lift and illuminate foundation in the shade I believe this was like warm beige the cool thing about this foundation I recently started using this and I absolutely love it just because it's hydrating because I have really dry skin Like I've said before it has a pump which is amazeballs and it's SPF 15. I put the foundation in the back of my hand, take the foundation brush, I spackle it on my face, then I go back with my blending sponge and I'll just set or blend or whatever it is. So first we're painting.
What I like to do next is then go back in with another concealer, which is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Concealer. It's hands down the most favorite concealer I have, I own, I wear, I use. I love this concealer. It's amazing. I got this in the shade Light Ivory, and this is how it looks. It's a little worn out because I use it a lot. gonna blend once I'm done with the concealer before I start putting any powder on my face I like to quickly just spritz my face and then add my powder to set everything in if there's any extra drops, like I get a lot with the spritz on this um, spray, I, I'll just dab it, sorry I had to do that, with my sponge to dry up the wet spots. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. finishing powder. The only thing I like to just put powder on is my under eye so it can set. I don't like to set my full face just because I'm so dry. That is it. That is the only reason why I'm going to be using bronzer and that's powdered. And I just don't want my face looking all powdery. I don't like it. I don't want it. Now I'm going to go in with the Physicians Formula Light Bronzer, which is my favorite bronzer of all time, hands down. A Netflix and chill look. I'm just calling it that because that's the situation that my imagination has placed myself in and this is the purpose of this video. Now let's finish up these eyes. I'm gonna take this small shader brush and with the same darker color that I used on my lid I'm gonna go under my eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favorite part, which is the highlight. You don't necessarily need this because literally the only thing that would be shining on you if this is a if you're doing this for Netflix is ch and chill is the light of the screen and that and he's not gonna be looking at you so it really doesn't matter but I'm extra and I like to do this. I'm gonna take this precision angle brush and I'm gonna go in with my new favorite highlight which is the wet n wild highlighter and this is in the shade Precious Petals is the cutest. The cutest. Put that on the bridge of my nose. Ooh. Right over here. I kind of want to be a little extra tonight and I'm going to use Eclipse. Uh, this is the Jeffree Star and Manny collab. Just right on the top because this is such a beautiful shade. For lips, I'm just going to use this cute little lip paint I got in a sample from Tarte. It's in the shade Rose. Okay guys, so this is the complete and final look. I hope you guys like it. If you really like me and you wanna see more of me, just let me know. I'm a normal person. I'm just, I'm just Christina. Like, come on.
Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I love you. Go like this. Mwah. That is how we keep my son away from my videos. Say hey. Your first camo. Girl, you you really look horrible. Um dame un momento que estoy. Just a little shimmer. Uh, I don't want no cat hair on my makeup. Cat hair on my sponge. I swear it's like, what? What are you doing? It's just shedding everywhere. Uh. Oh, uh. that one tasted so bad. All right, guys, that's all. That's it. I'm done. You can go. Watch Netflix and chill. <laughs> you know what you're really doing.